Howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. It is uh, January 11th, 2016. It is 12.35 um, p.m. here in the afternoon. I'm getting kind of a late start. Um, I didn't get up till noon. Um, I went to bed about 3.30, but um, I'm just not feeling real good. I've been up and down all night. Um, uh if I say fire in the hole, I know that Dina knows what that what I'm talking about. Um, having some uh, IBS problems. Um, uh, uh, I think the stress of stuff is really starting to, to. Whenever I'm really starting to stress out about stuff, my stomach always reflects that. Um, and uh, um, uh, also. I thought in an effort to, to save some money that um, I would, um, I'm trying to turn on the light here, um, oh, I didn't really help, but oh well, um, that I would um, not eat yogurt. And I know that sounds funny, okay, because we buy the cheap stuff anyway, which is two for a dollar, but I thought in an effort to save some money that I would just forego eating yogurt. And... You know, it's only like day four into not eating it and major problems again. So, lesson learned. Lesson learned. It'll be okay. Um, let's see. The temperature right now is uh, 22 degrees. Real fill is 2 degrees. Um, the high will be 27 and the low will be 14. Um, kind of waiting to see if Brad's going to be coming home at 1. He's only supposed to have to work half a day today because... They're working them, you know, they don't get a, a full day off this week. And they're actually get to work an extra day on top of that. I know. Um, because uh, um, they're having a super sell. Um, so that means that they get to work extended hours and they get to work on Sunday and stuff. And I know I should have a better attitude about it. So, you know, but kind of hard to have a good attitude about it when, you know, they hand you zero paycheck. Look at the cat. <laughs> Angel. <laughs> All of a sudden I look and I see, I see this face looming at me and it's a cat. <laughs> That's Angel. My daughter, my oldest daughter found her years ago. My oldest daughter was living in, sharing an apartment uh, with a friend of hers and she found this cat tangled up and tied up in a, a bush outside the apartment complex. Um, and she had uh, ropes and stuff around her neck. In fact, she's still bald around her neck where the ropes were. And uh, my daughter, you know, got her and, and, and stuff. And she stunk so bad when she came here. Uh, you know, my daughter couldn't keep the cat because, you know, they didn't allow cats uh, in this, any pets in the apartment complex so angel came here it was supposed to be temporary but now she lives here forever um but she stunk so bad of oil and and stuff where you could tell she'd been under cars and, and car motors and stuff but anyway geez and it's really weird because she came here declawed and she came here also she was already spayed and we did not know she was spayed until we took her in to have her spayed. Because even upon examination, even when they shaved her to do the spay, there was no, the incision mark, there was no, and then when I got in, it's like, oh, she's already been spayed. And somebody had taken the, uh, you know, paid and stuff, and had her declawed, you know, and then I don't know if she got loose or... If somebody deliberately tied all these ropes around her neck or people do sick things to, to animals and humans and yeah. So anyway, that's Angel. And she's been here, gosh, she's been here a good 12 years now. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's been a delight. She's a great cat. Um, uh, but yeah, that's the story on how Angel came to, to be ours. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, what I do yesterday, I listed a ton of more 
ton of ton of more stuff. Yeah, I did. I listed a lot more stuff on eBay, and um, uh, then I had to go in, and it just when I'm listing on eBay, I, I eBay. Wow, I need some more coffee. When I'm listing on eBay, I treat it just like a job. And I've been on, I've been selling on eBay for over nine years. And, uh, you know, I really commit myself to, to, to listing. And then I go in my stock, you know, my stockpile and I sort everything out. You know, I weigh everything. You know, if anybody wants ever for me to kind of talk more about how I sell on eBay and, and what, what I have learned over the years, just message me or comment below and then I'll, I'll shoot, I'll do a video sometime. But I mean, I, you know, make sure all my stuff is weighed out and measured and stuff and the pictures taken and, and everything is, is condensed down in one safe area. I keep it in my art studio where I know that number one, no animals are allowed in there. Um, nobody will mess with it. It's a temperature controlled room and stuff. So, you know, um, uh, and then of course, like last night I had to get the shipping ready to go because I had sold two things just right away and, and I need to get those, uh, sold or get those shipped out. Um, so we had we could just drop them off. Um, uh, so got all that done. Hi, Jasper. I got the front door open here because I need some sunlight. Um, so, uh, and all the cats are coming up, getting their love ups. Um, but so I did that and I did do some looming. Uh, I didn't get as much done. I didn't face that hat. Because uh, I was so busy because, you know, um, you know, as my husband brings stuff up, I have to sort through it all. And then I have to, you know, like I said, go through the whole process of listing. But listing on eBay is so much easier than it used to be when I first started. I started originally six weeks before 911 happened. Or 911 happened. Whatever you want to say. Um, but back then you had to have a different program. To upload your pictures and relisting was a lot harder and it made it so much easier than it used to be. It just amazed how much easier it is. Um uh what else? So yeah, sorry, I'm kind of combobbled today. This is I'm almost done with the pack. Anyway, so that's what it that's what it is and like I said I've only got a few more rows and then I can finish it off oh and, and then while I'm cleaning out stuff yesterday of course I find a bunch more buttons that I was looking for of course right so I have plenty of buttons and yeah I was thrilled though I was going through some of my sewing stuff like I said you know I had done seamstress stuff and I have packages and packages of unopened um Pins. Now I like the longer pins. They're almost like hat pins with the the bigger uh, ball end, uh, you know, because I just they're easier to see and, and work with. So, but the all the straight pins. So, um, found packages of those and and uh, um, just all kinds of 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 sewing uh, embellishments and um, you know like. So on snaps and buttons and zippers and you know all that good stuff. So that was nice to to find all that stuff. Um, and I know I've got more down there. Uh, and I still have to go through. I have I have remnants and remnants and remnants of fabric. And what I'm gonna do is is as soon as I get all of them up here, then I'm gonna go through them and then I'm gonna bundle them and then I'll put them on eBay for sale. Um. What else? Um, so that's about all I did. Brad was in an immense amount of pain because of his back. Oh my god, the most beautiful. <laughs> There's a pigeon. 
on the top of the bird feeder because it's big, long cylinder bird feeder. <laughs> he's right on the top of this, you know, suspended, you know. <laughs> all the all the little little wrens and stuff are below, you know, and the sparrows, you know. <laughs> he just had a wind just kind of swaying it. He just Writing that thing for dear life. <laughs> You'd have to see it. This is hilarious. <laughs> Actually, they're mourning doves. They're not, it's not a pigeon. He's <laughs> like, I'm not getting off. Not getting off. <laughs> I know, but hey, you know. You know, I think I'm going to redo this because I'm just kind of all off the place off the place I need to wake up a little bit anyway. yeah actually I'm not gonna redo it because my husband will be getting off work pretty soon and I have to wait for him to call um I think he may be getting off work pretty soon I don't know um You know why we do this? 